What's up guys, welcome to Performance Cars. So after that epic trip to Germany where we visited Nürburgring and KW Suspension Factory and Tech Art, well, I did about 3,000 kilometers in this S2000. So I finally gave it a good clean and the wax it deserves. And upon doing that, when I came to do the front driver's wheel, I noticed something strange. Well, what can you guys see there? Yep, we have a leak at the bottom of this wheel. So at first I thought, oh no, it's just a matter of the bleeder bolt coming a bit loose and leaking some fluid, but it's perfectly dry. So I thought, okay, maybe it might be the banjo bolt. Nope, that's completely dry too. So I was scratching my head for a bit thinking, what else can it be? And yep, you guessed it. The brake caliper seal has well, it's been compromised and it's leaking. You can just about see it leaking down there. So, oh my God, imagine if this happened over in Germany. Actually, I'm not too sure when it happened. So I quickly ordered some brake seals. So I have these sitting here. Um, this is what's been compromised so far. So this is your outer dust boot. It protects the piston and this seal from getting debris into it. Uh, this is obviously split. And then after this has started rubbing against the grit and whatever's gone inside. So I've just popped the brake seals, or well the piston seals, into some brake fluid just so that it assembles easier. And we will need to bleed the brakes again, so we're using RBF 600 and some silicone grease. So I will be doing both sides of the car at the front, may as well since I ordered a set. And yeah, it was just a matter of popping the piston out and then reassembling it and then we should be good to go as I do have a track day coming up soon. All right, so we have the driver's side piston off. I just give it a good clean. There's no rust on this part, so we're still good. We can still use this, which is perfect. Don't want to be spending any more money on this. But if you guys have a look at this outer seal, you can see how much it has deteriorated and obviously is letting the grit into the inner seal, which sits just inside there. If I poke this out, you guys should be able to see that. here we have the old inner seal um, as I run my fingers through there I am wearing my gloves but I can still feel that there's quite a bit of grit on this and yeah I don't know if you guys can see that it's not 100% perfect so this is why the caliper was leaking uh, luckily not by a great deal luckily we spotted it beforehand um, but just for you guys who have never seen the inside of caliper literally this is where your brake line goes and every time you press the brakes, uh, it's pushing fluid through there, which as the piston's sitting inside like that, like so, it's pushing the back of it and it comes out and your brake pads are here, which is pressing against the disc. So I'm now going to reseal it with the new brake seals and the outer one, and then we should be able to assemble this nicely. And there we have it, one caliper rebuilt, 
just gonna get rid of the excess brake fluid and brake cleaner and we're ready to assemble. I have finally finished changing the seals on both of the front calipers. So I just take you a quick look around at what I've done. Obviously you guys would have seen what I was doing earlier, but this side's all done now. Uh, no leaks at all, so that's great. I just need to bleed it because, as you can tell, the reservoir is empty. I've right, done this side as well. It's all good to go. New copper washers on the braided brake lines. And here are the old seals. So I even changed those ones as well because they were starting to look a bit, well, didn't look very nice. Uh, the old copper washers and this one just split in. Well, you can tell. That's why these were compromised and grit was getting in, etc. So I, at the beginning, you most probably saw how I pushed the piston out. I put some old brake pads um, in where the calipers are and then just pressed the brakes until the piston popped out. Obviously you want to put a bucket underneath and catch all the fluid. Still have to bleed the brakes so I have to do that in a second. But that's more or less it. I use silicon grease uh, for the inside of those slider pins. And obviously copper grease for the edges of the brake pads. So yeah I still need to jack up the rear of, rear of the car. Just so that I can bleed both back brakes as well. I might as well since I'm doing that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I didn't expect to do this because I thought the brakes were perfectly fine. I mean, even though it was leaking, I was still pressing brakes and the brakes felt firm. So I'm not too sure why. Well, I would have expected the pedals to go soft or anything like that, but at the Nürburgring, it felt completely fine. Coming back to the UK, it was still good. So I'm glad that this was done. I'm glad that nothing major happened because as you can imagine, well, it would have been a disastrous result. But I should be heading to Snetterton on the 21st of November in this S2000 so I'll be doing a couple of hours there. So if you guys are there, don't forget to come by and say hi. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Take care, drive safely and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome to Performance Cars. So today I have a Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 7 but this is known as the GTA version so it has an automatic gearbox. It is different to the usual ones which have a manual 5-speed gearbox so it's pretty interesting. Let's take a look around.